In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a realistic carbon fiber material without using any textures. So let's get started. So here's our model. I have already created a blank material. We are going to work with this one. And everything's at the default. So first of all, we are going to create a material function and let's go to the content browser and let's add materials and textures material function oh, let's call it our normal and before we forget I'm going to put it here. And at the moment it doesn't do anything. So we are going to add some outputs to it. So for now, let's put a constant vector here. That's going to be just 0, 0, 1, like this. and we can plug it into our normal map. At the moment it doesn't do anything because of course zero, zero, 001 uh, normally is pointing straight outwards. So it behaves like if it wasn't there. And now here comes the interesting bit. So here we are going to get our texture coordinate over here. And we are going to split it into uh, into components. So our R and our G component. And now I'm going to do the following. I'm going to add a sign function in here. And this should uh, actually creates sort of uh, sine waves from the UV coordinates. I'm going to uh, add some tiling to the coordinates, so it repeats. And if we look at the result, once it compiles, we are going to get those stripes as expected. Uh, so next thing we need to do is to actually uh, convert it into a proper normal. So we are going to uh, make float three. So the Z is our outward direction. We are going to set it to constant one, like this one here. And now the result should be different. Once again, recompile. And it's gonna have this corrugated look. So we're getting somewhere. Now we need to uh, turn it from like those just waves into sort of proper carbon fiber weave. So let's go back to our function and I'm going to use the second coordinate to offset the first but before I do that, I'm going to have to use floor. Uh, this will basically quantize this coordinate uh, into whole numbers. So we're going to get this sort of step effect. And now I'm going to divide the result by let's say four and add it into our, our original coordinate. And there's our step effect. Next, I'm actually going to also divide it in here. So those steps are closer together. Or let's divide it by 0 0.5. Yep, That's, that looks better. And now when I compile it, 
that's actually starting to look a little bit like carbon fiber. But we can do better than that. So to improve this, let's make it so only every other wave shows up on the on the material. So I'm going to divide this by two like this. And I'm also going to get sign from here. And I'm going to get floor of this value. So once again, we are going to quantize this. And uh, I'm going to multiply it with the original sign. So effectively, everything that's uh, above uh, zero in this sign will be multiplied by one. Everything that's below will be multiplied by zero. So let's see what happens if I compile it. It looks something like this, which is actually much better, but I've just noticed I made a mistake. I have uh, divided here by four. It should have been two, so the offset between steps is larger. Okay, it's much better now. And now I'm basically going to copy this whole thing. So everything from here, from here. And I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm basically going to do the same for the Y uh, component of the of the normal map. Only I'm going to reverse uh, R and G. So it's going to go in sort of up down direction rather than side to side. And I'm going to add slight offset in here, like 0.5. So instead of uh, the waves sort of covering each other up, uh, the horizontal wave should go into gaps in the in the vertical wave. That's why I made uh, every other wave flat. So it should give you a sort of this intermeshing effect. Let's see if it works. Let's compile it. And here it is. And that's actually the whole thing. There's your carbon fiber effect. But let's make a couple more improvements. So first of all, it's much too big. So you just increase the tiling on the texture coordinates to make the whole thing smaller. Okay, this is more like it. However, you will notice a slight problem and that's with aliasing. So it looks good from up close, but as you move further away, you get this, this nasty effect, uh, but we can do something about that as well. And the way we are going to go about it is to flatten the, the texture uh, when it moves further away from the camera. So to do that, I'm going to get uh, MIP level from the texture coordinates. And I'm going to clamp it so it goes from 0 to 1. And I'm going to put flat and normal in here. And this result will be, will be flattening the whole thing. And finally, we need to specify texture size. However, this is a procedural texture, so it doesn't have any size. So I'm going to just put, put some constant in here, say two is good. Let's check if it works. Okay, now it fades out. However, we still get artifacts on the border. So let's increase this number to, let's say six. That should look better. And now it's much better. You can see that it's flat from distance, but when I move closer, the carbon fiber texture is going to show up. 
let's make a few more final adjustments. So, first of all, I've noticed that uh, the normal map is too intense when you're close up. So, I'm going to add uh, linear interpolate in here. And And it's going to go from completely flat to, let's put 1.75 here, so much less intense than if it was zero. That's better. And the final adjustment I'm going to do is I'm going to add a clear coat to the whole material. So uh, to do clear coat, uh, you need to go to project settings and let's search for clear. And you need to enable clear coat, enable second normal. This requires restarting the editor and recompiling all the shaders. And when that's done, you will have a new node available in your materials that's called clear code uh, normal custom output and let's add it and instead of our regular no normal map we're going to plug this result into into this which is now called bottom normal and you change shading model from default lid into clear coat, like this. And now when the shader compiles, we get this. So you have both the smooth clear coat and underneath you can see the, the carbon fiber weave. However, for my taste, the clear coat is too intense, so Let's add a lower number in here. Let's put constant 0 0.3. Much better. And a final note. So what I just made here uh, is one of the two uh, common types of carbon fiber. And this is known as 2x2 weave or 12 weave. And this is by far the most common sort of type of carbon fiber. However, uh, some manufacturers, most notably Ferrari, uh, uses different type known as plain weave. And I can also show you how to model that. So let's duplicate this carbon normal function and let's call it plain carbon normal and let's change this material to use that instead and in the actual material function all we really need to do is to unplug those divide functions in here. Here. And that will give you that plain weave checkerboard look.